Hey guys, I'm Justin. This is Overland Productions. Today we're going to install the Goose Gear Camp Kitchen. Uh, it's going to be the fridge slide along with the dual drawer system. Um, I ordered a little bit of custom stuff for it. There is a um, platform that goes on top of it. It's got some 80-20 extrusions built into it. I'm going to put D-rings in that. It's good for tie downs, uh, secure your cargo uh, during transit. It's always a good idea in case of accidents or off-roading. Things get sloshed around a lot. Uh, you want to be safe. Don't want any flying objects through the air if getting in traffic accidents. So. That's always a good uh, piece of advice there. Anyway, um, we're gonna get that going, uh, get that installed. There's a couple of steps for it, just need to be done in order to make sure everything lines up nice. Uh, after that, um, we're just gonna start adding the uh, accessories to it. Got some D-rings for tie downs and so forth. I've got a paper towel holder. It's got a uh, ratcheting uh, core so that it doesn't unwind while I'm driving down the road. Got that idea from uh, John Burt. He's got that in the back of his uh, rig. Anyhow, uh, this was inspired by uh, Epic Adventure Outfitters, uh, Paul and Christian up in Surrey, British Columbia in Canada. Uh, they've got this in the back of one of their uh, JL's Wrangler uh, that they've got there in the shop that they're driving. So uh, thank them for that idea. And uh, that's it. Let's get started. Let's take a look, see what we got inside here. What we ordered was um, basically a drawer system. So I don't know if this is the drawer or the fridge slide. Probably the fridge slide because it sticks out the bottom. But um, drawer system, fridge slide, uh, housing. You notice they're the same height. A lot of times you see the refrige, refrigerator slides sit a lot taller because they have the pull out. Uh, stoves underneath or storage areas. Um, I didn't want that, so these are nice and level. This is a top plate that is going to go on top of these two, and that's why I don't need a shelf. Um, I can store whatever, bags, uh, battery packs, whatever I need to do, put on top of this stuff, uh, and that's my shelf. So that replaces the need to install a shelf. Um, it basically triples my storage space, so the drawer system has two drawers in it, so normally I just have stuff on the floor of the Jeep. And then now put the drawer system in. Now the drawer system is two layers, so that doubles it. And then put this platform on top, and that is three times the surface area to store belongings. So I think that's going to work out real well. and washers keys more bolts and washers so these keys are uh, interesting I already have as you know the stealth sleeping platform it has the uh, lockable uh, storage doors on it so you can uh, unlock it open the trap door remove your belongings so when I ordered this system I said hey can you match the locks on the storage doors to the locks that I already have on my still sleeping platform and they're like yeah so these keys are supposed to open everything um, the drawer system or the sleeping platform that I already have in the Jeep now This is going to take a while. Mm. Evidently I grabbed a really dull razor blade, so let's call that safety. There she is. Hello, beautiful. It is backwards. Mm. 
Nice. I like that a lot. One more. Beautiful. All right, let's get that drawer in there. Oh, you know what? I wanted to weigh this. Let's see if we can weigh this. I've got just a basic scale. There it is. That I got on uh, Amazon, up to 300 kilograms. So it's teared zero zero right now. I'm just gonna put some weight on it. See how much this thing weighs. Thirty-one point four. Let's get this thing weighed. I weighed it one time and it came out to 31 kilograms, whatever that is. Let's see what it is in pounds. That is 69.4, about 70 pounds for that whole drawer system right there. Let's get a weight for this fridge slide with the refrigerator in it. So. That's a Dometic CFX, I think, 40, CFX 40. So just uh, adjust for your own fridge's weight that weighs less or more than a Dometic CFX 40. Pounds, not kilograms. about 80 all right we weighed it let's get it in the Jeep all 70 pounds of it watch out for that subwoofer nice and easy that ought to do it for now There we go, something like that. Nice. Let's see if we can get some of these bolt holes lined up. The guys from uh, Epic Adventure Outfitters recommended uh, taking a drill bit and uh, widening these holes just a little bit. We're about to find out why. I think I think that uh, these pre-drilled goose gear holes should probably line up with these brackets, so I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. I need to loosen those. Those are a Allen head bolt. Let's go get an Allen head.
Just back those off just a little bit so we can slide these brackets around. They tighten them down for shipping so they don't slide all over the place. There we go. Right about there. Right about there. Show you what I'm doing here. Those are the pre-drilled uh, certs that they put in there, they're threaded. They should line up with these holes, so I'm gonna slide this whole kit over to those line up. There it is, right about there. That's one. That's two. Actually, I think we're just gonna need one per bracket. I'm gonna back this one out, put that somewhere else. Oops. That's not good. Let's see if I can focus on this. So this is the nut for a bolt that holds the two cabinets together in the middle. So it's got like a string on it so that you can hold it um, until you get the bolt in place. So I'm gonna use that piece of tape to hold this up uh, while I thread a bolt.
Got it. Let's take a quick look at the hardware supplied for the cabinet. I think on the fridge slide there were two washers for every bolt. Went ahead and took out uh, the bottom drawer to give access to the uh, bolts. So I'm going to do just like the fridge slide uh, portion, line up those brackets and uh, I've got eight bolts this time instead of four. So I'll drop all eight bolts in there probably because of the weight rating for these uh, slides. Okay, so we got uh, all of the bracket bolts installed, eight of them over here on the drawer side and uh, four of them over there on the fridge side. Uh, now that all of those are installed, you want to make an adjustment forward or backward. For instance, I wanted to keep access to this uh, hatch back here that will be hidden by the door. Uh, and the uh, camp kitchen was sitting on top of it, so I pulled it forward to clear it and uh, then shut the back door a couple of times to make sure the back door was going to clear. So now that that's all aligned, I'm ready to re-tighten these bolts over here on the side of the brackets uh, that we loosened in the beginning. Now we've got both the fridge slide and the drawer system uh, installed. Everything's bolted down, everything's tight. Uh, we're ready to start uh, some fine tuning. We're going to go ahead and get that plate and put it on top next and uh, start configuring. Beautiful. Just need to line up those bolt holes. There's a bunch of them. That's one. Got like a billion more to go.
just working through uh, getting these bolts installed and lined up with the uh, 8020 nuts down there. Um, just decided to put a small socket down there to create a gap so I can see what I'm doing. I can get the bolt in there and slide that nut around to line it up just right to, uh, as I go. All right, so I've got all of the bolts started. I need to take these back out and uh, lay the 8020 extrusions down and then reinsert the bolts. Uh, the purpose of this is just to line these up with the nut insert inside the 8020 extrusion so that when the 8020 is on there, I can drop the bolt in, it'll line right up and uh, we can get those tightened down. Nice. I don't know. Maybe that one got, maybe it didn't. That one was easy. Oh, I think that one's in. All right, pretty happy with that. So right